brand new beat. Thanksgiving's here and the time is right. Dancing in the street. They're dancing in Chicago. Your hosts from today, Matt Lauer and Savannah Guthrie. And good morning, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Welcome to the 91st Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And we promise before it's over, there'll be a lot more dancing in this street coming your way. And plenty more big surprises, too. Our celebration is just getting started, so stay with us. Join us for the great American Thanksgiving Day tradition. The streets of New York City are lined with millions of spectators, and holiday cheer is in the air. A celebration filled with television and music's biggest stars, world-famous balloons, incredible marching bands, phenomenal floats, and Broadway's best. It's all coming your way live on NBC. Welcome to the 91st Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Here's a live aerial panoramic view hovering high above the island of Manhattan, looking down at the starting line of the parade, and I'm on Central Park West, marching to the very front of the line. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I'm Al Waker, inviting you and our 50 million television viewers around the world to enjoy a true American tradition, the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, and to officially launch this iconic event. We're pleased to introduce Macy's CEO, Jeff Gannett. Jeff, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, Al. Thank you. So on behalf of Macy's 140,000 employees, a very happy Thanksgiving to all of you. The Thanksgiving Day Parade is a special event for us at Macy's and a beloved television special for millions of families. And I'm honored to be here to kick it off. We are very thankful to the more than 10,000 volunteers. Here from every corner of the country, many of them are own Macy's employees and their friends and family. They are rehearsed, they are in costume, and they are rarely it is time to celebrate Thanksgiving 2017. So are you ready to get this party started? Yeah. Yeah. From New York City, NBC presents Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade with your hosts from today, 
Matt Lauer, Savannah Guthrie, and Al Roker. With performances by Jimmy Fallon and the Roots, international superstar Gwen Stefani, Hall of Fame recording star Smokey Robinson, pop star Andy Grammer, platinum selling recording artist Andrew Day, and hip hop icon Common, country star Sarah Evans, boy band 98 Degrees, the legendary Patti LaBelle, the classic rock band Goo Goo Dolls, Three time Grammy winner Wyclef John, Tony winner Leslie Odom Jr., rap superstar Flo Rida, country music's Dustin Lynch, recording artist BB Rexa, singer songwriter Laura Elena, with appearances by NBC stars from This Is Us, Justin Hartley, The Braves Mike Vogel, Chicago Mets Colin Donnell, and from Blind Spot, Sullivan Stapleton, and Miss America, Kara Mann. From Broadway, SpongeBob SquarePants, Dear Evan Hansen, Anastasia, Once on This Island, and the Radio City Rockettes. Fantastic floats, spectacular balloons, and ushering in the holiday season, Santa Claus. Broadway musical SpongeBob SquarePants, star of NBC's drama series Blind Spot, Sullivan Stapleton, and music superstar Gwen Stefani. When the parade continues live on NBC. Fall is in the air, and so are the giant character balloons. Welcome back to the color and the excitement of the Macy's Parade. Our helicopter shot gives you this great view of the celebration below as the parade marches through the major streets of Manhattan. This is one of the most anticipated and cherished days in New York City, which every year hosts Thanksgiving, one of the most revered holidays in our nation's history. And to find out if the skies are going to cooperate today, we turn to our colleague and parade pal, Al Roker, who's uptown. Hi, Al. Good morning. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Guys, I got to tell you, it is perfect weather. It's 35 degrees. There is no wind, a bright blue sky. We've got the big balloons with a smooth beat, and the sun is certainly shining on NBC's hit crime drama. You like that uh, transition? Yeah, that's the blind spot. <laughs> Here with us now, the star Sullivan Stapleton. So, Sullivan, first of all, how Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, Alan. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone out there. And you guys have a lot to be thankful for this year. Show's a big hit. What are we looking for this season? Um, more of me. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, uh, we're into season three, and uh, it's, a, it's a great season. It kicks off, you know, it, we start really well, and it just gets better and better. So yeah. it's a lot of fun. Well, yeah. That's what I've got to be thankful for, I, my I, job. I, we should all, everybody who's got a job is thankful. Yeah. Let me ask you, in, in, you're Australian, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is, there a, is there a comparable holiday in Australia? Um, I guess Australia Day. Um, but, you know, I mean, it, you know, it's the joy of just giving thanks for, for what we've got. Yeah, and, um, and what are you going to be doing after the break? Uh, I'm going to go and uh, we're sort of having a, um, a dinner. Uh, I'm joining uh, one of the cast, actually. Uh, so she invited me, and then I'm probably going to grab the other Aussie, Luke Mitchell. Um, and we're uh, we're going to sneak in for, for Thanksgiving lunch. All right. Well, happy Thanksgiving, sir. Thank you. I want to say a uh, huge thank you um, to everyone for my job and to be thankful to be in this parade and this day. There you go. A huge thanks and my respect to the Lenape people. Third season of Blind Spot, Friday night at 8, right here on NBC. Matt Savannah, back to you. All right, Al, thank you very much. You're uptown, we're downtown. One of the great things about our location, we've got the Broadway shows behind us. That's right, and new splash based on the long long-running Nickelodeon hit series Spongebob Squarepants, a new musical, is about to break like a wave over Broadway. Spongebob Squarepants follows a day in the underwater town of Bikini Bottom, where the citizens have just learned that a nearby volcano will erupt tomorrow. So Spongebob has to rescue his city from certain destruction, so here is Bikini Bottom Day, performed by the cast of Spongebob Squarepants. Bonjour, and welcome to Bikini Bottom home to the most fascinating sea creature of all, the yellow sponge. Good morning, world. Happy Thanksgiving. Jump out of bed, mix up a breakfast for my favorite pet snail. Full steam ahead, the SS I am ready is about to set sail. This kind of day couldn't 
get much better, but it keeps on trying. Yeah, I'm on my way. Somewhere there's a Krabby Patty that needs frying. And who's the lucky sponge in the mirror who is living his dream? Who's always extra careful with his dental hygiene? Gary, it's me. Happy just to be here in the world renowned. Bikini Bottom, how I love this. Hiya, Sandy. Greetings, Squidward. Hello, Bikini Bottom. On my way, the most is pumping and the track is getting to me. On my way, looks like the weather is the best it's ever been. We've got the best sun ever. It's not even the best sun ever. In the world, swim with the current till it carries you. of Dear Evan Hansen takes center stage. Star of NBC's new series, The Brave, Mike Vogel, and a special performance by Gwen Stefani, all headed your way live on NBC. As we look from high above, the parade has now reached Central Park West and 67th Street from the first marcher to the last, the 10th. 1,000 parader stretch for over two and a half miles. And watching the Brave go by with me is Mike Vogel, the star of NBC's thrilling new drama series, The Brave, with his daughter Cassie. Happy Thanksgiving to you guys. Happy Thanksgiving to you as well. You know, tell us, this, this show, is, I mean, it, it's really one of those rip from the headlines kind of shows. Absolutely, yeah. It's a high-action, high-impact show about a special forces unit who is the premier intelligence gatherer for our government and governments around the world and their relationship with their intelligence analysts back in D.C. and the relationship and trust that exists between these two units. So it's been a lot of fun. Now, is this your first time to the parade? My first time to the parade. Watched it since I was a kid. Uh, being here is incredible. Being able to share it with my daughter, even e even more incredible. Cassie, did the balloons seem bigger when you see them in person? Yes, a lot bigger. <laughs> they really are. They fill up your whole field of vision. What are you guys going to do after the parade? Uh, we're gonna we're, well, we're gonna take the parade in. We're gonna get back on an airplane and get home to mommy and uh, sissy and our brother and her brother back in uh, Albuquerque where we're filming. So oh, that's great. Well, yeah. Mike, Cass, Cassie, thank you so much for being here. Thanks Happy for having Thanksgiving. Me. Appreciate and folks, it. Don't forget the Brave NBC Monday nights at 10. And for more of Broadway's top musicals, we go back to the musical sensations Matt and Savannah. Oh, thank you, Al. Well, all his life, Evan Hansen has felt invisible. But when a tragic event shocks his community and thrusts him into the center of a rapidly evolving controversy, Evan is given the opportunity of a lifetime, the chance to be somebody else. The winner of six Tony Awards, including Best Musical, Dear Evan Hansen, is a contemporary story about life and, more importantly, the way we live it. Here is the Broadway cast singing, You Will Be Found. Have you ever felt like nobody was there? Have you ever felt forgotten in the middle of nowhere? Have you ever felt like you could disappear? Like you could fall 
and no one would hear. Well, oh, someone will come running, and I know they'll take you home. Even when the dark comes crashing through, when you need a friend to carry you, and when you're broken on the ground, you will be found. So let the sun come streaming in, cause you'll reach up and you'll rise again. Lift your head and look around, you will be found. There's a place where we don't have to feel unknown. And every time that you call out, you're a little less alone. If you only say the word, from across the silence, Coming up, Broadway smash Anastasia, the star of NBC Chicago Med, Colin Donnell, and the spectacular Gwen Stefani, when we return live on NBC. Hey, welcome back to the biggest Thanksgiving celebration in America. Hey, take a look. We've got trolls, the troll balloon. We're in the middle of it firsthand to see what it's like in this famous parade. And we want to let our viewers know that Verizon is inviting you to see the parade like you've never seen it before. No matter where you are, in partnership with Macy's and NBC, Verizon's created a live 360 video experience that offers an incredible view to the parade, putting you right in the action. Just head over to Verizon's YouTube channel and begin the Verizon 360 live experience right now. Taking in the sights and sounds of the parade, we also got the star of NBC Chicago Med, Colin Donnell, and his lovely wife and actress, Patty Murray. Mur Mur thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having us. Happy Thank Thanksgiving. You. Happy Thanksgiving, Happy Thanksgiving, to, Thanksgiving you. to you. So, uh, Chicago Med, I mean, a lot of stuff going on this season. Yeah, absolutely. And we're picking up right where we left off from last season with this past episode on Tuesday that we premiered. And 
We're not letting our foot off the gas this season. So you, know, you play a, tra uh, a trauma surgeon. Have you started studying any kind of medicine? Have you, give me, give me, maybe, maybe you're going to go into this somehow? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> no, I think no. everybody's going to be happier that I don't. We'll leave it to the real professionals. <laughs> so, what are you guys going to be doing tonight to celebrate Thanksgiving? Um, we're going to be going up to my sister Pam's house in Connecticut with my parents and my brothers and everyone's significant others and children and just having a good old-fashioned football watching Thanksgiving gathering. So the parade in the morning, yep. NBC football tonight. Absolutely. It's perfect. In between a lot of turkey. Exactly. Tons. Guys, congratulations. It's great have to a see great, you. Thank great you so Thanksgiving. Much. Thank you Thanks so much. for being here. And we want to remind you season three, Chicago Ed, uh, Chicago Med, airing Tuesday nights at 10 right here on NBC. Now more music from Broadway's best. Thank you very much. Inspired by the beloved films of the same name, Anastasia transports us from the twilight of the Russian Empire to the euphoria of Paris in the 1920s. With the help of two lovable con men, Anya, an 18-year-old orphan, poses as the long-lost Grand Duchess Anastasia. And in doing so, she learns a secret about her past while fighting to secure a future for herself. Singing Journey to the Past and Once Upon December, here is the Broadway cast of Anastasia. Next up, the star of NBC's award-winning drama, This Is Us, Justin Hartley, plus an unforgettable performance by Gwen Stefani when we return live on NBC. And 
final one. Welcome back. Thanksgiving morning, the giant character balloons weaving their way between the skyscrapers. The parade's made its turn onto 6th Avenue, so we're pretty excited. Hey, so joining me right now, we've got Justin Hartley and his wife, Chriselle. Do you have any idea when the balloons first made their debut? Uh, a little trivia for you. 1924, maybe? Or? 1927. 1927. I was there. My birthday. There <laughs> you go. Justin Hartley, his wife, Trishel. Justin, of course, the star of NBC's huge hit drama, This Is Us. I think it was two years ago you joined me here at the parade, and the show was just launching. Any idea at that point that this show would, would take off the way it did? No, I mean, you, you can never predict those kinds of things. I'm glad that it did. I knew that we had a special show, and it read really well, and I felt like it was really good, um, and that people could connect to it. And I'm just glad it found an audience, and, and people seem to be enjoying it. And it's a it's a show I think uh, I think pretty much anyone can watch, no matter where you're from, what walk of life you're from, what your background is. So I'm just proud to be a part of it. You know, Chriselle, we were talking earlier. That you never get tired of seeing Is this your first parade? This is my first parade. It's really special and so and here with you Al it's really exciting spectacle awesome. yeah it really is what are you, you're from Knoxville uh, in, in, in Illinois yeah Knoxville yeah, Illinois, yeah, small right. town. yeah. Uh, how did you guys celebrate Thanksgiving we did uh we, we would do like a traditional you know family immediate family and then like the grandparents would come over and my grandmother would cook and we did we did things like that just a traditional slow uh storytelling thanksgiving day well we hope you guys have a great thanksgiving Thank after the break you enjoy it and thanks so much for being thank here. you always good to see you, all. you too and the highly acclaimed series this is us airing tuesday nights at nine right here on nbc now get ready for a very special holiday performance Superstar Gwen Stefani spent three seasons as a highly respected and very popular celebrity coach mentoring singing con contestants on NBC's smash TV hit The Voice. We're very thankful she's cho chosen to share her remarkable voice with us on Thanksgiving. That's right. Last month, she released her first holiday album titled You Make It Feel Like Christmas. That disc features six original songs, six classic holiday tunes. And don't miss, she's got a special Gwen Stefani's You Make It Feel Like Christmas special on Tuesday night, December 21st, 9 o'clock, right here on NBC. And now, from the Bank of America Winter Village at Bryan Park, singing White Christmas here on Frozen Pond is the incomparable Gwen Stefani.
the exciting musical Once on this Island, singing legend Patti LaBelle, and a very special duet by Andrew Day in Common. When the parade continues, live on NBC. We are back. Welcome back. We're enjoying the view. Just some of the 4,000 folks in the parade. And of course, we've got the New York City Mounted Police coming up here. Uh, our special high-mounted camera comes all the way from our friends at the Residence Inn by Marriott Times Square. And we got some of the Mounted Police. Officer, how are you today? What is this? A, how many parades have you marched in? This is actually my first. It's your first. It's my first. I'm and who's, now, and who's yeah. your partner? This is Einstein. Einstein. Yeah. <laughs> you got the smartest horse. He's got the Einstein hair. That's, 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 right. that's very good. What are you gonna do after you finish riding? Go home and have a nice dinner. Hey, you deserve yeah. it. Thank you very much. How you doing, Al? How we're doing? Great. We salute you guys. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Well, my work uptown done. I'm going to work my way downtown. I might hit your ride. <laughs> you know, I got plenty of horsepower here. Guys, make room for Roker. Here I come. There's always room for Roker. Al, we'll warm up your seat. By the way, Gwen Stefani's special is on December 12th on right. NBC, 9 o'clock. Don't miss it. And by the way, we want to remind our viewers that Verizon is inviting you to see the parade like never before from wherever you are. It's an exclusive 360 video experience that it offers an incredible view of the parade and puts you right in the action. So just head over to Verizon's YouTube channel and begin the Verizon 360 live experience right now. All right, from Tony Award winners Lynn Ahrens and Stephen Flaherty comes once on this island, the tale of a fearless peasant girl who falls in love with a wealthy boy from the other side of the island. When their divided cultures keep them apart, the young girl turns to four powerful island gods to reunite her with a man who has captured her heart. Here's why we tell the story from the Broadway cast of Once on This Island.
the parade is just around the corner, and the Radio City Rockettes are here next when Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade returns. Welcome back. It's Thanksgiving in the heart of New York City, and you're looking up 6th Avenue from our parade camera, which sits high atop the Residence Inn by Marriott Times Square as Macy's March Through Manhattan moves closer and closer so right here, our review stand. It's one of the prettiest years or days we've had in years. These next entertainers are the beloved stewards of the holiday season. They're also true American icons. So many of these dancers grew up watching this parade on TV from their hometowns across the country. And from an early age, they were inspired to take part in this annual performance. Now they're living that dream. Yeah, performing on the great stage at Radio City Music Hall, of course, and right here on 34th Street, straight from the Christmas Spectacular starring the Radio City Rockettes, which is running now through January 1st. Please welcome the Rockettes. The parade hits 34th Street with celebrities, bands, floats, and giant balloons when Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade returns. Well, you can see the procession of marchers headed toward the finish line on 34th Street, right in front of Macy's flagship department store for the last hour. These 10,000 volunteers, including, by the way, 4,000 Macy's employees taken nearly 6,000 steps walking past three and a half million spectators. And while we're doing statistics, Mr. Lauer, I need to congratulate you because today you are calling your 20th Macy's Parade. 20 years, that's almost as many parades as Santa Claus. <laughs> Flown by, it's been a great way to spend this holiday with my family every Thanksgiving morning. By the way, now it's time to enjoy the pageantry. That's right, the energy, the diversity of the 91st Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Strike up the band. So from outside Houston, Texas, it's the Prairie View A&M University Marching Storm. They're loud. Dr. Tim Zachary directs his band in its first appearance in a Macy's Parade. Here's a nostalgic mega medley of some memorable retro tunes.
Day Parade has triumphantly reached its destination with bright banners, colorful clowns, towering stilt walkers. It's music and confetti, marching bands, and celebrity performers. It's wonderful floats, the cheerleaders, the dancers, giant 50-foot balloons. And it all caps off later with the very first seasonal appearance of Santa Claus. Enjoy for generations the celebration of this special holiday is really just beginning floating into view is the first and the newest of our 17 massive character balloons melting our hearts there he is Olaf the happy snowman from Walt Disney Animation Studios Frozen the number one animated film of all time Olaf joins the parade's elite band of giant character balloons for the very first time measuring in at 57 feet long with a carrot nose, get this, as long as three snowboards. And you can see more of Olaf in the brand new featurette, Olaf's Frozen Adventure, in theaters now, paired only with Disney Pixar's movie Coco for a limited time. Gobbling up all the attention is the original Big Bird, Tom Turkey. No better time to talk turkey than on this day. According to estimates by the National Turkey Federation, there is such a thing, 44 million turkeys are consumed in America on this holiday. And now for the dressing, along for the turkey trot, thanks to the good folks at Bravo's Top Chef or Padma Lakshmi, food author and host, along with celebrity chef and head judge of Top Chef, Tom Colicchio. Top Chef is the top food show on cable, and it returns next month. Music from Patti LaBelle, Andy Grammer, Wyclef John, and Santa Claus is coming to town when the parade continues live right here on NBC. Welcome back, everyone, to our country's largest tribute to Thanksgiving Day. Now, not to get bogged down in the details, but there are more than 400 oversized cranberries bobbing on Ocean Spray's float. It's an exhibit that pays homage to the farmer owners of the Ocean Spray Cooperative who help bring cranberries to our holiday tables. Tall turkey and giant goose remind us that Ocean Spray has been a part of Thanksgiving meals for nearly 90 years. Now performing Don't Save It All for Christmas Day from her new holiday album, Patti LaBelle and Friends, home for the holidays. Enjoy award-winning legend, Patti LaBelle. From Fort Mill, South Carolina, here are the 110 boys and 110 girls of the Nation Ford High School Band. Here they come. Director Martin Dickey tells us that there are 12 sets of siblings in this talented group. In tribute to Thanksgiving, they play We Gather Together.
All right, and now promenading down the road are the honorees of this holiday. Check out Pilgrim Man and Pilgrim Woman every year. On the fourth Thursday of November, these two balloon heads pay tribute to the colony's first harvest in 1621, an autumn feast known as the first Thanksgiving. 20th Century Fox presents Scrat, the world's largest saber-toothed squirrel and star of the blockbuster Ice Age films. The Ice Age franchise has been around for ages, 15 years to be exact. Just out of Scrat's frantic reach, his tummy's foremost desire, that's the elusive acorn. I know you like facts, Matt. 15 million acorns would fit inside this helium-filled acorn. And if that's not enough to boast of this double balloon's bigness, try this. Scrat's tail is about as four times as long as a woolly mammoth was tall. It's not that cold yet, but for some frozen fall fun, drop the puck because the Stanley Cup champion Pittsburgh Penguins face off against the Boston Bruins in the 2017 Discover NHL Thanksgiving Showdown. Hockey Hall of Famers Ray Bork and Brian Trottier are here to remind us all to catch the action tomorrow, 1 Eastern, right here on NBC. And Discover Card wants to let you know that the National Hockey League is celebrating the 100th anniversary of its founding. So singing What Happened to Love, let's listen to three-time Grammy Award winner Wyclef Jean. McDonald's chief happiness officer, Ronald McDonald. He's riding in his highly shined, one-of-a-kind big red shoe car, along with some pals, the talented McKids. From driving down 34th Street to flying over 34th Street, McMarching through the air is the Ronald McDonald balloon. Ronald can't be distracted at the moment. He's on a mission to show that fun makes great things happen by bringing joy to families around the world. By the way, along with his regular celebrity duties, Ronald is very proud to be the face of the nonprofit Ronald McDonald House Charities, dedicated to the overall well-being of children everywhere. The Muppets sing with Leslie Odom Jr., plus Jimmy Fallon and the Roots, coming up on Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. It's live on NBC. Welcome back to the parade where 34th Street and Sesame Street intersect. Every year we look forward to greeting our sweet friends who make the world a better place. For nearly 50 years, families have looked towards Sesame Street's beloved Muppets to help children learn their ABCs, build their inner strength, and develop a moral compass. With special programs to support military families, children with autism, and young refugees around the world, Sesame Street brings its heartwarming approach to the kids who most need it. Now the cast is joined by Tony Award winner Leslie Odom Jr. and together they sing We Come Together.
Inside, bundled up against the chill with earmuffs the size of elephant ears and tightly clutching his precious journal is the familiar face of middle schooler Greg Hefley from the best-selling Diary of a Wimpy Kid series. With over 194 million books in print in 53 languages, author Jeff Kinney continues to write books that turn millions of kids into reader, and what a great gift that is. His latest book is called Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Getaway. It follows Greg's family on a crazy holiday vacation, and it marks the 10th anniversary of Kinney's All But Wimpy series. Here is the Trumbull High School Golden Eagle Marching Band from Trumbull, Connecticut. Their motto, pride, attitude, and concentration. You can see those qualities on full display as director Peter Horton leads the band in a performance of My Favorite Things. And now it's playtime at the parade, thanks to the new Universal Kids Network. Sprouting up on 34th Street is every child's dream of the coolest playground ever. This all-new float highlights the importance of imagination and play at any age. The colorful jungle gym, climbing wall, and giant bouncy balls are courtesy of Sprout, the daily programming block for preschoolers. Singing Girl on Fire is the young powerhouse who plays second in season 12 of America's Got Talent. Angelica Hale. She's just a girl and she's on fire. Harder than a fantasy. Lonely like a highway. She's living in a world and it's on fire. Feel a catastrophe. But you know she can fly away. Angelica, and now Hello Kitty, who is usually only as tall as five apples, has today come to the Big Apple as tall as three apple trees stacked on top of each other. And for 43 years, Sanrio's Hello Kitty continues to deliver happiness, friendship, and fun to all ages. As she always says, you can never have too many friends. 
and we can never have too much of Hello Kitty. This worldwide pop icon also has the distinction of being the parade's first female aviator. With the dip of her wings, Hello Kitty says hello to all of her many fans. Immediately following today's Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, settle in for the National Dog Show presented by Purina, right here on NBC. Welcome back to New York City's annual celebration of Thanksgiving as we watch a family of ducks cross the road. Lewis the duck is on the roll again as he gets his ducks in a row. Lewis is pulling mom Lois while she tows their darling ducklings Lance and Lisa. Now the whole flock is about to duck into the nearest Homewood Suites by Hilton, offering spacious suites and the comforts of home like a full kitchen. And don't forget the complimentary hot breakfast. That's something to quack about. <laughs> his pop songs have gone gold and platinum and now singing one of his hits, Smoke Clears, here is Andy Grammer. You and I against the world that's what you told me that night in the terminal as we were boarding and i knew you meant it holding my hand so tight as we flew from lafayette back to pacific time and you laid your head on my shoulder couple tears we shed over arizona an emotional roller coaster yeah. ago, an official from Macy's surprised our next band in their hometown of Gulfport, Mississippi, with the great news that they've been chosen to perform here today, and the reaction was priceless. Uh, it was, and now here is director Tim Garrett's West Harrison High School Hurricane Band taking their moment in the spotlight and playing enterprising young men. of New York City and it's 77 feet long and five stories tall. It's one of the largest balloons in the parade. This coming year, the global phenomenon Power Rangers will reach its 25th anniversary milestone, reminding fans really of all ages, you've got the power to unleash your inner superhero. I like that. Celebrating teamwork and diversity, Power Rangers Super Ninja Steel will premiere in January on Nickelodeon. Now our big parade rolls out the big guitar with the biggest name in rock and roll, Gibson. From its headquarters in Nashville, Tennessee, Gibson brings its quality, prestige, and innovation to the music world all around the world. And in a Thanksgiving performance, the Gibson Concert Stage proudly presents the host of NBC's The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon and Jimmy's Grammy-winning house band, The Roots. They are ready to rock 34th Street with the Prince classic, Let's Go Crazy. 
Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to get through this thing called life, 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 life. and now making another electrifying appearance in our parade wearing a bright hat and scarf is Pikachu from the Pokemon Company International. The chilly streets of New York are a world away from the tropical Alola region. Setting of the new Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon video games which are in stores now. 90 volunteer balloon handlers are required to navigate Pikachu down the street meaning it takes over 15,000 pounds of people power to keep these Pokemon in parade formation. A common and Andra Day duet and Miss America when Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade returns live on NBC. Exactly. We are looking forward to cheering on our American athletes at the Winter Olympics. They start February 8th right here on NBC. We hope you'll join us. And here's more good cheer. That's right. Rolling in on the big city cheer float are the cheerful teenage cheerleaders from the Spirit of America Productions. And joining the squad from Bismarck, North Dakota, is the reigning Miss America, Cara Munt. She is the first contestant from her state to win the Miss America title. All right, here you go, kids. Back again this year, the adorable Trolls, thanks to DreamWorks Animation. With their colorful flowing hair, Poppy, Branch, and Guy Diamond have hitched a ride on the 10-legged Caterbus to troll above 34th Street. Each balloon troll is more than two stories tall, and they have a new story to tell. It's called DreamWorks Trolls Holiday. 
featuring the voice talents of Anna Kendrick, Justin Timberlake, and Zoe De Chanel. The animated special debuts tomorrow night right here on NBC. And right now we welcome a dazzling new float into our parade family. Say hello, hello to the twin genies, Shimmer and Shine, the magic carpet riding stars of the animated preschool series on Nickelodeon. Peeking out of jars at the front are their pets, Tala and Nahal, and there's that troublemaking Zeta too, scooting around the rainbow waterfall. Singing Kid in a Candy Store is Kids' Choice Award winner, Jojo Siwa. Schultz's endearing character creation, Charlie Brown, has come to visit us once again. Although he has the world on a string at the moment, Charlie's a little bit preoccupied with trying to untangle that kite string <laughs> from around his 31-foot-wide balloon body. That's tricky. And thanks to Peanuts Worldwide, the Peanuts Gang, which is 67 years young, has floated down the Macy's Parade route more than any other character. Charlie, the kid who never, ever gives up, also never gives up that grin, which today stretches 14 smiley feet long. The planet is, of course, a big puzzle, and Girl Scouts everywhere are building a better world, one piece and one badge at a time. Though through its Girl Agenda, just launched this October, the organization is inspiring, preparing, and mobilizing all girls and people who care about them to create positive change through civic action. Here are two powerful voices with one powerful message, singing Stand Up For Something, our Andre Day and Common. Florida and country star Sarah Evans when we continue live on NBC.
Did you walk three miles behind Einstein the horse? Uh, actually, I rode Einstein. Did you? It was great. Side saddle. It was fantastic. We're watching the Camp Broadway Kids Ensemble who are celebrating the important role that military families play in supporting America. Performing Irving Berlin's This is a Great Country, the children of active duty military personnel and veterans from every branch of the armed services. All right, now it's time to enjoy the Colonel's road trip to New York City thanks to Kentucky Fried Chicken. 2017 marks the 60th anniversary of the iconic KFC bucket, and KFC is celebrating its heritage by sending Colonel Sanders in this 17-foot-long Cadillac from his old Kentucky home to Manhattan for this parade. To perform here has been on his bucket list, singing Small Town Boy is Country Boy, Dustin Lynch. The road in the headlights, I'm a mama boy, I'm a fist by kind of county line, kind of cold beer, little hat down, little John Deere. I kind of give a damn, kind of don't care, you see the girl standing right there, she loves a small town boy like me, she's my right down baby, she's my cool, she's my crazy, she's my laid back in the front seat. She's gonna with me to the end I'm gonna turn it up to ten, girl And she could have anybody that she wants to be Anywhere she wants to be And she loves a small town boy like me And she loves a small town boy like me Happy Thanksgiving, everybody! Cheers! And she loves a small town boy like me She's my ride or die, baby. She's my cool, she's my crazy, she's my laid back in the front seat. She's my with me till the end, girl. I'm gonna turn it up to ten, girl. She can have anybody that she wants to be, anywhere she wants to be. She loves a small town boy like me. She loves a small town boy like me. Flying in from our nation's capital. Colonel Lang, commander of the U.S. Air Force Band, and Lieutenant Colonel Harris, commander of its Honor Guard, saluting the 70-year history of the Air Force. These musicians represent all airmen whose service ensures the freedoms we all enjoy, and we salute them for their service. A transforming plane and the star of Super Wings, a top rated program on Universal Kids Network and now also on Netflix. Alpha Group presents this adventure filled preschool series which features Jet and his friends, the Super Wings, who go on adventures around the world solving problems and delivering smiles to kids everywhere. In flight, this super balloon weighs as much as 40,000 paper airplanes. Celebrating its 120th birthday next year and joining our parade for the first time this year, here's everyone's favorite baker, a delectable new float by Entenmann's. The beloved bakery brand known for its classic snacks and desserts gives us this mouth-watering peek into its windows 
And don't miss the icing on top as the cupcake erupts in sprinkles of confetti. Now, she was named the Academy of Country Music's top female vocalist, all set to sing Diving in Deep. Welcome, Sarah Evans. You rest upon my soul and my life imprints on a way that just keep pulling in the ocean out into the night. You hold me in my dreams just like a mother holds a child wrapped in a blanket underneath the starry sky. And I want to know you until there are no secrets left to keep. If all is there from B.B. Rexa and Cat Graham, the debut flight of the Paw Patrol Balloon. And Santa is getting closer when Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade marches on, live on NBC. Yo, 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 welcome back to Parade Central in Manhattan, where the nation's largest street party is really heating up together with famed choreography Wildebeest. The United States Tournament of Dance has produced 34th and Fun, this one-time-only hip-hop showcase. Under the direction of Sean and Natasha Flanagan, these hip-hoppers were recruited from cities across America. Yo, drop the mic. <laughs> it's very convincing, Roker. I uh, like our parade. The New York Daily News is a New York institution as the most widely read newspaper in the metro area and a top digital brand. The Daily News delivers for New York and the nation, and they've delivered to our door this morning this bright red inflatable apple featuring some celebrated Big Apple landmarks, including... Of course, Macy's famous 34th Street department store. And now, singing meant to be is Brooklyn born Phoebe Rexa. I don't need to be so tight. With my heart has been hurt a couple times by a couple guys. I didn't dream you right. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. Cause I'm tired of the fake love. Show me what you made of. Oh, I made Making its debut in the parade, Paw Patrol, Spin Master's top preschool property playing on Nickelodeon. And you're looking at Chase, the Paw Patrol's heroic police pup, never without his trusty searchlight and net launcher, or his police hat, which, by the way, is large enough to actually cover a real NYPD patrol car. Yeah, we tried it. <laughs> Chase leads a crew of lovable rescue pups that work together on missions to protect the community of Adventure Bay, Helping to patrol the parade, Chase believes that no job is too big, no pup is too small. 
It's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Leonardo, Raphael, Donatello, and Michelangelo, all named after Italian Renaissance artists. Each will be reimagined in an adventure-packed Nickelodeon series, Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, launching next year. Meanwhile, she's the wildly successful singer and will be the voice of April O'Neil in the new Turtles series next year. Here's Cat Graham singing Magic. Very familiar with these streets, New York's finest have come marching in. Lieutenant Tony Giorgio, who founded the New York City Police Department's band 26 years ago, leads his all-volunteer 75 musicians in playing Stand By Me. Latin Grammy winner Nikki Jam and the legendary Smokey Robinson coming up as the parade continues. Welcome back to our parade where we are welcoming a brand new family of friends into our fleet of floats. The slingshot cart shoots pushpins into the inflatable clown. Take a look. And the confetti flies. Having a little parade day mischief are the lovable Sour Patch Kids characters on their parade within a parade float. And isn't it sweet that America's favorite sour candy has for the first time joined America's favorite Thanksgiving Day celebration. With over three and a half billion views on YouTube. Here is Latin recording artist Nick Jam performing El Monte. Ya yo me cansé, no quiero ser tu amante Te digo de mi parte Que no aguanto más Ya no aguanto ver el otro como dice que es el dueño tuyo Me mata el orgullo Él ni te sabe hablar Esta la hice para Cuando la escuche quiero estar ahí para ver Cuando se entere y sepa que soy dueño de usted Tal vez suene un poco mal, lo sé y no me luce Todo es por usted Mami yo me siento tuyo go back in time now to the days of black and white. Don't go there. <laughs> Loading up to the plate is Harold, the baseball player. The 1947 film Miracle on 34th Street told a story that 
featured the Macy's Parade and its flagship store right in front of us. In celebration of the film's 70th anniversary, 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment collaborated with creative masters in Macy's Parade Studio to recreate the iconic baseball player balloon seen in that movie. Brings back memories, doesn't it, Matt? The perennial holiday favorite, Miracle on 34th Street, is now available digitally on iTunes. This may be my favorite moment from my alma mater in Athens, Ohio. I am so happy to introduce band director Richard Sook and the Ohio University Marching 110. In tribute to the band's 50th anniversary and to the 50th anniversary of the rock group Chicago, they play 25 or 6 to 4. to last year's hit animated blockbuster. Wow, another starring role for Angry Red. Who knows, maybe that'll cheer him up. And from Angry Red to Angry Blue, Rovio Entertainment also presents the popular weekly YouTube series, Angry Birds Blues, starring the adorable Hatchlings. Rapper Florida, the rock band Goo Goo Dolls, just ahead when the parade returns. It's all on NBC and it's live. Red Hot Mamas, a comedic dance crew from Idaho, Washington, and Texas, and dressed up today as domestic engineers. Led by Mickey Stevens, these ambassadors of fun are dedicated, in Mickey's words, to the enhancement of the ridiculous. <laughs> As the colorful, fun-loving Red Hot Mamas wheel off and cool off in 38-degree weather, they can take pride in knowing they just completed a long 2.8-mile parade route, leaving lots of laughs in their way. We love the Red Hot Mamas. This whole fun house is stuck together in the wackiest ways. Take a look. It raises the question, what can't you stick together with crazy glue? Bonded for life are two roof-to-roof -roof cars, a lopsided chandelier, an upside-down piano, and a stack of chairs holding up the roof. Crazy Glue has been helping Americans stick and fix since 1973. Riding on the float and ready to sing Ola is top rap artist Flo Rida.
master of laughter and pop culture phenomenon, SpongeBob SquarePants is bobbing down the parade route, soaking up the adoration of his fans. SpongeBob and his bikini bottom pals swim it up every day on Nickelodeon. Guys, so here's a little fun sponge fact. If you took all the ropes on the outside and the inside of this balloon and then laid them end to end, they would stretch the entire two and a half mile length of the parade route. Did you know that? No. I didn't think you did. Not only is SpongeBob one of the parade's highest flying inflatables, it's also the first ever square balloon. The makers of King's Hawaiian Foods bring the aloha spirit to New York with this float depicting the grandeur and splendor of Hawaii. A lush garden of tropical plants and flowers, along with a real waterfall and a spewing volcano, complete the picture of our 50th state, America's only state made up entirely of islands. Meanwhile, from the Empire State of New York, rocking us with So Alive, here are the Goo Goo Dolls. Like a hero, but I can't fly. No, you never crash if you don't try. Took it to the edge, now I know why. Never gonna live if you're too scared to die. school band known as the northern sound traveled 4,500 miles to be here located in Palmer, alaska these musicians represent the northernmost marching band in the country they perform ain't nothing wrong with that under the direction of dr jamin l burton Foundation awards a scholarship to one band member in this parade who has exhibited core values such as leadership, community service, and musical ability. So this year's recipient is Colony High School's bass drummer, Naomi Winders. We want to say, Naomi, congratulations to you and your family and your school. It's a great honor. Music from Sabrina Carpenter and Cam, plus Santa and his elves when Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade returns. Welcome back to our Thanksgiving holiday extravaganza. Performing House of Make Believe are the unbelievably talented teenagers who comprise the Spirit of America dance stars. Each one represents school dance teams and dance studios from all over the country. Laura Davis organizes this massive operation with an assist from choreographers Afton Beatles and Allie Monk.
story here each year there are a lot of mothers and fathers who themselves once performed with the dance stars in the Macy's parade when they were in high school and now those parents are ecstatic to see their own children dancing in today's event that's, that's really great well build a bear's own Bernard looks over castle walls to discover fellow bears sailing the seas and riding a rocket ship, capturing just some of the ways Build-A-Bear nurtures imagination. As you stuff your turkey today, think about this. Every year, nearly 8 million pounds of stuffing go into the furry friends made at Build-A-Bear workshop. Star of Disney Channel's Girl Meets World, here's songwriter and actress Sabrina Carpenter singing Why. You like New York City in the daytime, I like New York City in the nighttime. You say you like sleeping with the air off, I don't, I need it on. You like the light coming through the windows, I sleep late so I just keep them all closed. You ignore the music on the radio, I don't, I sing along. I don't ask for you to change, living on and on, and you don't ask for me to change. Sipping by the kilo, I don't, I know you know I don't ask for you to change Living on and on, and you don't ask for me to change With his arms joyfully outstretched, wearing his signature chef's hat, white neckerchief, and million-dollar smile, <laughs> the Pillsbury Doughboy comes giggling down the parade route. Poppin' fresh, as he's sometimes called, symbolizes all that's special and memorable about sharing family time in the kitchen together. The Doughboy and his fresh dough products have been helping families make homemade memories for more than 50 years. The circus is in town celebrating its 40th anniversary. The Big Apple Circus is excited to return to Lincoln Center for the holiday season. This year's show will star Nick Walenda performing the famous seven person pyramid on the high wire and will also feature the return of this fan favorite, Grandma the Clown. <laughs> And now with a bowl that's big enough to mix batter for about 250 cakes comes the Sweet Treat Factory float called Stirring Up Sweet Sensations. It reminds us that Thanksgiving marks the start of the holiday baking season. Whether you're making cookies, pies, or cakes, Domino Sugar has been part of that baking tradition for over 100 years. And now here's a sweet country singing sensation, Cam, performing Diane. I didn't know he was your man I would have noticed a gold wedding band dying I'd rather you hate me than not understand Oh, Diane You pick the time and the place Don't know how much this hurts I gave him my heart Country music singer-songwriter Laura Elena 
and the legendary Smokey Robinson, coming your way live on NBC. It is Thanksgiving in America, and we are back in a giant way, you might say, as we enter the valley of the Jolly Green Giant. Making his ho, ho, ho debut in the Macy's Parade, the instantly recognizable titan of all things veggie, tending to his farmland in size 62 boots, feeling right at home on this holiday, because for more than 100 years, green giant vegetables have played an important and healthy role on Thanksgiving tables all across America. Singing, doing fine. Here is the very talented country music artist, Lauren Elena. Daddy got sold, but mama got his best friend. I cut down crying to every other weekend. Thanks for asking how I've been. I've gotten too good at high living. I'm okay, things are great, but the truth is. Yeah, the truth is. Soaring above our heads is Dino, Sinclair Oil's big green helium-filled dinosaur, one of America's most recognized and beloved icons. The balloon is a life-size replica of an Apatosaurus, measuring 72 feet long and 36 feet tall. Dino was a big part of the Sinclair Centennial last year as he roamed across the nation to New York City. Families up and down the parade route are delighted that this giant of the sky made it on time to join them on Thanksgiving Day. Right behind Dino, marching in from Minnesota and celebrating its school's 100th anniversary is the Rosemount High School Marching Band. Now, they started rehearsals back in May. They wanted to perfect their marching technique and musicianship, and now they're putting it all together. Here's pride in the past, promise in the future. Rushing in is the stately float representing Mount Rushmore from the South Dakota Department of Tourism. This granite memorial located in the Black Hills of South Dakota, visited each year by millions of tourists from all over the world. Presidents Washington, Jefferson, Roosevelt, and Lincoln are the patriotic subjects of America's largest and most recognizable sculpture. You ready for this, guys? Here's another national treasure treating us to a timeless song, Christmas Every Day. This is the legendary Smokey Robinson.
98 degrees sings, the new Grinch balloon soars, and Santa's on the way, live on NBC. Welcome back to our street celebration of Thanksgiving, New York style. Snow tubing in on his tail feathers and sharing his love is the affable Aflac duck out for some exercise. Our duck's new balloonicle, meaning half balloon, half vehicle, sports a warm scarf and crosses its feathered wings against the cold, forming a heart that beats bright. As a company Aflac. with a heart, Aflac believes wholeheartedly in protecting the life you love no matter what life throws your way. Aflac! That wasn't me. <laughs> Deck the halls with Balsam Hill, makers of the world's most realistic artificial Christmas trees. And a lot of beautiful holiday decor. This elegant float is trimmed out with garland and adorned with Christmas trees and a giant Vermont white spruce. It's right in the center. A holiday carousel revolves with children riding reindeer. Got a sleigh and a polar bear. She is the lead in Marvel's upcoming series, Cloak and Dagger, here to sing Christmas Baby, Please Come Home, Olivia Holt. Thank you, Olivia. And now the deliciously wicked Grinch and, of course, his loyal dog, Max, are best known for stealing Christmas, but now they're stealing the Thanksgiving show. Illumination, the animation powerhouse behind this new balloon, brings its trademark charm and comedy to the parade today and to the big screen next November with Illumination Presents Dr. Seuss's The Grinch, a sweeping new version of the classic tale. Say hi from some or for some friends from Michigan, from outside Grand Rapids. Come director Brian Phillips and his 318 members of the Michigan State champion Rockford High School marching band. Over 700 parents, chaperones, family, and friends have traveled along with the group that now plays most wonderful time of the year.
the shelf balloon is not only the largest elf in Santa's workshop, he's also the largest balloon character in the parade's history. Santa's helper is straight from the North Pole to a family's home during Scout Elf Return Week, which kicks off tomorrow. The elf on the shelf visits over 11 million homes worldwide, and this year's bringing a new twist to a favorite Christmas tradition with Scout Elf Express delivers letters to Santa, which transforms children's letters to Santa into keepsake ornaments. And now the Peanuts Gallery has arrived, and the gang got an early jump on Christmas, decorating their yard with some ribbons, wreaths, and colorful ornaments. Snoopy's Doghouse reminds us that the animated TV classic, A Charlie Brown Christmas, is a must-see for fans of all ages. Snoopy, Lucy, and Linus patiently await another must-see, as Santa is on his way, coming soon at the end of our parade. An all-new giant singing Christmas tree. More bands, balloons, and floats, live on NBC. Welcome back to Thanksgiving Day and to the great March in November. One of the special hallmarks of the parade is this festive countdown to Christmas float from Hallmark Channel. As families celebrate each day of the holiday season, they look forward to the parade's arrival of Santa Claus, of course, and to Hallmark Channel's holiday movies airing all day and all night, including their highly anticipated original premieres. So to help us get in the holiday mood, here's the ageless boy band 98 Degrees singing their new original song, Season of Love. Kaysville, Utah comes the big band from Davis High School. After serving as band director for 28 years, Stephen Hendricks is retiring at the end of this school year, but he's going out on a high note with Ode to Joy from Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. the parade here is an early and epic Christmas gift from Delta Airlines that could only come 
from the world's largest store. This over 30-foot towering tree is adorned with over 100 Macy's employees from all across the country joined together to usher the holiday season in in song. Special thanks to Delta, New York's largest airline, for helping bring this national choir to New York City for today's performance. And now, under the direction of Judith Clerman and singing Together at Christmas, here is an original Christmas song created for this very special moment. We present the first ever Macy's Singing Christmas Tree. It's time for the grand finale and for Santa Claus when Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade returns live on NBC. Just a perfect day in New York City. We welcome you back to the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Now here's a warning. Santa Claus is coming to town in just a couple of minutes. Please make sure your kids are gathered around the TV. In the meantime, this year, Universal Orlando Resort takes the Christmas season to all new heights with an all-new lineup of festivities, Merry and Mayhem Mesh, as the Minions and other popular characters join Santa Claus and the Universal Holiday Parade featuring Macy's. You're going to see all new balloons, incredible floats, silt walkers, and so many other colorful characters. Make it a Christmas to remember now through January 6th. Enter the mighty Macy's great American marching band under the direction of Rick Good, Doug Rosner, Ward Miller, and Dennis Rhodes, comprised of the top band and auxiliary members from all 50 states in the District of Columbia. These students now proudly perform holiday celebration.
And now, bouncing together the red, blue, and yellow elf balloons named Kit, Charlie, and CJ. They're recreations of a known balloon which made its debut in the Macy's seasonal celebration 70 years ago. Now a regular part of Macy's parade elf family, these charming holiday balloons signal that a very special moment and a very special someone has arrived. All right, now kids, adults, if you listen very carefully, what's that? Oh, I think I hear bells jingling. Oh, what fun it is to ride in on an eight reindeer open sleigh. Making spirits bright is the red-suited, white-bearded man himself, Santa Claus. There he is, and helping her jolly hubby bring holiday cheer to children of all ages all over the globe is Mrs. Claus in the back of his colossal 60-foot-long slope, which is, by the way, the distance between the pitcher's mound and home plate. Santa is carrying an enormous gift bag of toys for all the children of the world. Santa's got lots of work to do, having now launched the official start of the holiday season. And tomorrow, the good folks at Macy's will also have a lot of work to do as they start to plan, believe it or not, next year's Thanksgiving Day Parade. As the final flakes of confetti float to the ground, the 91st Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade is coming to a close. And as we count our blessings, we also pay tribute to our men and women serving in the armed forces. We wish them a safe and swift return to their families and to all the first responders who've been so heroic through recent tragedies. We're grateful for your service as well. Thank you so much for joining us in this joyful celebration of one of America's most cherished holidays. And now, on behalf of NBC and Macy's, we wish you and your family a very happy Thanksgiving Day. Thanks for watching, everybody. Goodbye. Stay right here. Don't go away, because coming up next is the National Dog Show, presented by Purina, right here on NBC.